I now want a lighter tone get considerably more white involved here make sure I still have it yellowish Tested. I want to surround the uh, light areas. A little red in here. Still a yellowish tone. There's a little bit of blue that has migrated across the palette and that keeps the tone um, slightly grayish, not too bright. And immediately I blend a little bit with the previous tone. surround the previous paint and try to isolate the brightest, lightest, puffy area. There's several of them. There's one here and on this side, of course later on the nose, on the cheeks. Here is a break from that light area and the light area in the corner of the eye. Make it a little darker, a little more of the blue to make it a little more gray. For this tone here. around the brow. Give some indication here of an eyelid. Now up, up in there it disappears into the heavy dark mascara. Tear duct. Now we, now we have paint all around the eyeball. And we have um, beginnings of some shadow here along the side of the bridge of the nose. Eventually it gets down to the cheek. And I want to darken a little bit just right in here. Darker tones compared to lighter tones recede into the canvas creating the idea of shape. Okay, now this side, left side. This is the bridge of the nose, just where the shadow of the eye socket comes up to it.
press down on the brush, flatten the hair out on the canvas. There's a light area here under the brow. light here where the cheek begins in the corner of the eye. You know there's a curve to the nose here. There isn't much pencil so I'm just gonna for my own put a, draw it in just a little bit more. Help me judge later. But we won't get into the nose right now. Let's put a bit of shade in here. I think we'll just connect the two areas left and right across the nose bridge.